Hi everyone and welcome to Carassis Productions. Uh, in this video I just want to show you my new photo box and how easy it is to use it, my plugin for Headwave themes. So you can see I've got my site set up and you can see I've got different images here. There's a hover effect. Um, if we click on them, it opens up to this slider. You can press play here and it'll, you'll see it auto play. Pause that. You can advance using your um, mouse with the arrows. You can also advance using the keys, which I'm pressing the left and right arrows on the keyboard now. It's got a film strip down the bottom, which you can hide. Okay, And you can also zoom in. And if you zoom in with your mouse, you can now pan around the image. So you can get a really good look at a zoom in effect on this image. That's why I chose this plugin. Little X up the top here, it's a bit hard to see because of my lot. If I was logged out, you wouldn't you'd see it. It's just hidden behind the WordPress menu bar, but we'll close that now. And we'll head over to the back end where I've got the photo blocks. I'm just going to delete that block and we'll start again with a new one. So if I just hit save, jump back over, hit refresh, they will all it's all disappeared. Alright, so let's draw our block first. So we'll add our photo box. So when we come down here, we can see down here we've got photo box. And on, on the, when you open it up on the settings here, you've got content and settings tab. Then you've got standard config for mirroring, importing, exporting, etc. etc. That come with standard headway blocks. So we're going to start with the content. In here we got choose image. Now it starts with one. You can hit the plus sign to have multiple and then you can delete them. I'm just going to drag this up just to get a little bit more real estate. All right. And once you've got them as well, you can put hover over here. I've made these so you can sort them for which way you want them to rearrange on the front end. Anyway, so let's add this in choosing image. Sorry, let me just get that. I've just plugged in my tablet. It's obviously booted up. Alright, so we'll start with this one. I'm just going to add in the animal ones to get this started. So this is the jellyfish. So we'll type that caption in there. You can type whatever you want. If you hover over, you can see choose the title for your image. Then we'll add in the other animals here for an animal display. So we're going to go penguins. So we'll add the penguins. And then we'll add in the koala. There it is. I might just add a couple more just for the sake of it, just for fun. Uh, we'll add in the tulips. And then we will add in the last one. We will add in the chrysanthemum. I don't know how to spell it, so I'm just going to cut and paste that there. And that's our images loaded. So when you jump over to the settings, so the thumbnails, this is your thumbnail size on the um, page. So that's set at 200px. I'm just going to unplug my tablet there because it did beeping. Um, so that's set at 200px. You can make that any size you want. If you leave it blank, it'll default to full full height of the image now this was is universal so this will scale the height of the all the thumbnails it doesn't just assign it to one this it this margin setting here this is the margins between the thumbnails so you got you can set this up 5px on the top 10px on the on top and bottom and 5px on this oops 10, 5px on the top and bottom, 10px on the sides. You can make that 5px on the top, 10px on the right, 2px on the bottom, and um, 20px on the left if you wanted to. So it goes clockwise, so top, right, bottom, left. But if you leave it as two, you got top and bottom and left and right. The hover focus is currently checked by default. Now, um, unless you, I don't know what's going on there, that's something I've got to work out, but if you don't check and uh, recheck, uncheck it and recheck it, it won't actually work. But if, you, if we uncheck it for now, we'll hit save. Actually, what I'm going to do there. And then refresh. So there's no hover focus. 
when you click on the images it loads and that's where you, your title that you entered in comes up so that's all working we'll just head back to the back end here now and we'll re-enable hover focus hit save hit refresh and now we've got the hover focus effect so i've got to make that i've tried making that so it's unchecked by default but it hasn't worked um but we'll try and work out what's going on there all right so now we've got that we'll <laughs> everything's working on the front end if we head into our visual editor when i first designed this plugin it was um designed to be i made it so it was always centered but then I changed that because if you go in and edit the photo box instance and go into your fonts, you can use your text alignment to align center, align right, um, just like any other visual editor. Right. So let's hit refresh. And there we have it. Now with the um, CSS code, if you hit, I think it's photo box under, oops, photo box underscore thumb. And let's add a border solid to px. And we'll make that uh, ash b2002 just for fun. Just a nice red, dark red color. And so now we've got our a border around. We could go, um, we could add, instead of a border, we could make it border radius, and we could make it um, 50%. So we can make our thumbnails round. Um, what we could do is go dot, I think it's hover underscore focus. Double check that, because I think I might be wrong there, but we'll find out in a second. Border solid 2px, let's make that 5px, hash b2002, so we're making a solid border of 5px if on hover, which it's not. So let's just go inspect element. I'll bring that over from my other screen and drag that over. Uh, uh, no, there isn't one for hover focus. Okay, that's why. I'll have to change that. I'll see if I can add in a CSS code to so you can change the hover focus. So at the moment you can, um, and that, but there is one called float shadow, which will do the same as photo box done. All right, so there we go. There is my plugin. So I hope this is of use to you. Um, it's not just for photos. I designed it for using as a photographer, um, but you could also use it for presenting your portfolio work. There's no reason why you couldn't have a website in here because your clients can zoom in and just pan around. I'm not clicking anything. I'm just moving the mouse so they could pan around and see your site. Um, so a couple of things I need to update on this is I need to work out why the plugin isn't using the hover focus correctly. It's checked by default, but it's actually, when you actually look at it on the front end, it's not working. Um, the other thing, this supports video. Um, so you can upload, have Vimeo and YouTube clips in it. Um, at this stage, I haven't set it up to support that, but that is part of my next update. So that'll be the uh, a new version. I will also make it that there will be a CSS code involved with hover focus that so if that box is checked it'll add a class for you all right anyway i hope to see you on the um forums and also don't forget to hit me up with any questions uh i hope you enjoyed this quick demonstration and i will speak to you soon this is john thanks very much